everybody. It's May 24th, 2017, and this is the Chuck Baker vlog number 389, and it's Wednesday, hump day, and how the heck is everybody today? I really want to know, so put a note down there in the comments. Let me know how you're doing, what you've been up to, and uh, for me, i just been hanging out, you know, resting up, did some news stories here to tell you about, and today I have six stories to talk with you about, so let's get to it. First one here is uh, former playmate Danny Mathers gets probation, graffiti cleanup, and body shaming case. Uh, you may remember that uh, Playboy Bunny Danny Mathers, she took a picture of this 70-year-old uh, woman in a locker room, and she was naked, and she posted that picture, and it uh, kind of blew up. So the woman sued her, and... Um, well, she got convicted, but um, she only got probation, and she has to clean up um, graffiti in the city. I think it was 300 hours that she has to do of graffiti cleanup. Uh, but, you know, s some people may think that she uh, should have had to do some time there instead of just getting probation. Because, you know, when you, when you do something like that, when you take a picture of somebody like that without their permission... When they're naked, and then you post that picture, that's a problem. But she got probation, and she has to clean up graffiti. It's not like after she gets done, it's not going to be back up there. Because <laughs> whoever put the graffiti up there in the first place is going to come back and do it again. But anyway... At least she has to do something, you know, community service, get get that cleaned up. So maybe she'll learn her lesson, but I don't know. I think she should have had to spend at least a little bit of jail time. What do you think? Do you think that's too harsh? Do you think the, she got what she deserved, probation and the graffiti cleanup? Put a note down there in the comments and let me know. And next story is TSA testing tougher carry-on screening procedures at LAX, nine other airports. Seems like the TSA are having a tough time of going through your carry-on bags, so they're going to start making you take out more stuff uh, so that they can... Uh, more easily see into your bags to see what you've got in there. So, um, the article says that anything, any electronic device bigger than a cell phone, they're going to make you physically remove it from your bag so that they can inspect it. And probably other things too. Now, <clears throat> the last time that I flew was uh, back in 2002, and I had. Uh, carry-on bag. It had my cameras in there. Uh, at the time, I didn't have a cell phone, and I didn't have a laptop computer, but um, I had cameras in there um, that I was taking with me, and when they started looking in my bag, I was hoping they wouldn't make me take all that out, because I had a lot of cameras in there, and it was just would have been a really big hassle, but fortunately they didn't. But uh, probably if I have to fly again and I take my cameras and equipment with me, then I'll probably be having to pull everything out of my bag and then take a look at it. But uh, yeah, it's just getting wilder and wilder every day. Next story here is eight guards, seven inmates injured in California prison melee. Uh, a fight broke out in this prison between two inmates, and guards went to break it up. They tried to use, um, they, well, they said chemical deterrents in their batons, but um, they weren't able to break up the fight. And then other inmates started coming in and started uh, attacking the guards. So other guards from other uh, positions came up and they started firing live rounds um, at the um, inmates that were fighting. And it ended up that um, 
the uh, eight guards were injured um, and seven inmates. Nobody was killed. Uh, There's no critical injuries uh, in that, but um, they did lock down the prison and they've moved prisoners to other secure areas of the prison. Um, and I'm sure there will be an investigation about this. So if uh, any more news comes up uh, about this story, I'll be sure and let you know. And then the next story here. This story and two other and the other two stories I'm going to talk with you about here are related. And really when I read these, it just made me angry. But here's the first one. Ann Arbor Restaurant says ICE agents ate breakfast, then detained three workers. ICE agent went to this restaurant in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, called the Sava Restaurant, and um, they ate breakfast, and then they proceeded to go back into the kitchen, and they were looking for a certain person. That person wasn't at work at, that day, but they ended up detaining three other people. Well, actually four. Um, but three people were uh, taken into custody. Uh, one was um, in the country legally, but overstayed his uh, visa. And two others were in the country illegally, so they say. But... Um, Another person that they detained, he was in the country legally, and he uh, his status uh, is still valid, and he had his paperwork on him, but they still handcuffed him and fingerprinted him and stuck him in one of their cars until they got done with him. Um, they say it took about five minutes for him to get this, uh, but that's... That's where the other two stories come in. The, the next one here was ICE agents say three men arrested at Ann Arbor restaurant were in U.S. illegally. And then the last um, article was man detained by ICE at Ann Arbor restaurant terrified. And this guy, he is terrified because now he's afraid that it's going to happen even more often. And this guy is here legally. He's got the documentation. He carries it with him. Now, this is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous. It seems like ICE agents can do whatever they want. I mean, uh, I guess they can just go to your place of business where you're working and do whatever they want. And, you know, this could happen to anybody, even in a U.S. citizen, if they even look like they don't belong here, they're going to get harassed by ICE agents, and you better be able to prove that you're a citizen, or you might be uh, in a detention center, even if you are an American citizen, born and raised here in this country. It's just getting that bad. Are we going to, I mean, really, do we have to start carrying our birth certificates and everything with us, and... It's really out of control. You know, it needs to stop. Uh, I was born in the United States of America, not Nazi Germany. I shouldn't have to show my papers when I want to go somewhere. You know, if I walk outside my house, is there some ICE agent going to stop me and want to know if I'm a U.S. citizen? When are we going to stop just taking this and do something about it? Everybody needs to write their um, government representatives, their congressmen, their House of Representatives, and tell them that this needs to end or they won't get your vote no more. You know, because if they can do that to these people, they're going to do it to anybody because... You know, Trump, he's just said that he's going to get rid of all the illegal immigrants and he don't care how it gets done if uh, 
American citizens get swept up in the process, oh, well, so be it. You know, that's just the price of doing business. Well, you know, American citizens have rights. And we need to start exercising those rights. Okay, that's my rant. That's my opinion. What do you think? Put a note down there in the comments. And um, tell me if you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, that's fine too. Hey, you know, get a conversation going. So, um, that's it for today, everybody. I'd appreciate it if you um, shared this video with uh, other people. Um, maybe we can get uh, a wider uh, range of discussion going here. Uh, get this out to as many people as possible. Um, and let everybody know what's going on. And if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. And again, uh, please share my videos with your friends, family, everybody that you can. Uh, your people on social media. Uh, also, please check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And uh, if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image there. And please check out my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. And as always, everybody, all the uh, articles that I talked about today are going to uh, be on my Google Plus page. And also, the links will be down in the description. Uh, so, until tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.